Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Cardano once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you to each and every single one of you. I hope you had a really good Christmas and I hope you have a really good New Year moving forward. Okay, so right now I did make this post. I think on Boxing Day uh, yesterday in the morning. I says, look, because I know a lot of people. There was a bit of a pullback and people were fearful. I says, look, Cardano is forming a bull pennant. XRP inverse head and shoulders. Link falling wedge breakout. BTC, Bitcoin basically, bump and run and vet a descending triangle, bullish continuation patterns. Have a good day, Coins Kid Crew. So we've got the break on V chain, we've got the breakout on link, we've we're still carving out the shoulder of that XRP uh, pattern. Cardano, it, it has broken out the bull pennant. So we're gonna jump into the charts right now and take a look at Cardano, okay? So with Cardano then, there's a hell of a lot going on here. Like I said to you, coming down in this falling wedge just there, uh, you probably see it better on the four hourly time frame. A zoom to the four hour um, you can see what we was talking about when this was coming down um, you know I've not been able to do an update over Christmas but I've been trying to keep you updated as best as I can so we had this falling wedge tightening 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 we broke out and we came back to the support line of the neckline of the wedge created this beautiful little descending triangle which technically is a bearish pattern and like I said to you coming towards the apex you get the breakout you're looking at a beautiful impulsive break and it's met all the targets and like i said to you look you, you run into resistance of each point of contact of a wedge look at that for confluence that's why you ran into resistance a few days ago on the 23rd of december you started to retrace you held this previous resistance as support look at this beautiful and then you start to form a ball pennant of which you've broken out of and right now you've met the technical target of a ball pennant but you're looking at continuation here so the next point of contact for uh, Cardano is this point of contact here. Now this particular break from here has offered an amazing 38% long opportunity. So far, Cardano is broken out and you're currently up a whopping 24% on your long right now, okay? So it's, it's doing well. It's doing everything it needs to for the continuation here, breaking out, coming back up to retest these levels of resistance of a falling wedge. And this is what happens. I've shown you so many times. When you break out of falling wedges, you retrace to each point of contact, and that's where you run into resistance and retrace for support. Look, you broke out here, retrace for support, got it. Broke out here, retraced to support, got it. Look, resistance resistance do you see that the points of contact are the rising uh, falling wedge sorry so right now this is your next point of contact and you can see that you know cardano is starting to take off into space here isn't it so i wouldn't i would imagine if you're looking for a level of resistance right now it's at 173 that's a key level of resistance moving forward for cardano moving forward okay so that's basically a quick little update for you where could you get some support you know where could you get some bids in right now for cardano so if you don't want to buy big green candles because you're going to get with big red dildos what you've done here you've not necessarily back tested this swing high because it's swing high swing low you can see if you do start to come up right now you do start to roll this previous swing high here at 147 could offer an amazing entry point you know because this will take off into space start to retrace hold this previous swing high support and at that point start to come back up because that works you know you move up impulsively and correctively getting to your targets but i would imagine you are in a full retracement to 173 now it's at that point what happens there do we come for a deeper retracement and then break out you know impulsively again to the upside but we'll trade that as and when it comes so right now you are in a technical target to 173 because you've broken out of the wedge just there came back to support held it start to come back up okay so that's basically canano hope you enjoyed that swift little update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned back soon with another canano update take care everyone Bye bye